Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. We are starting new section of videos that is Java 8 new features. Yeah, it is not only Java 8 new features, the complete new features added in Java language we are learning start with Java 5 version 2 up to Java 8 and also I will try to include Java 9 features also. Fine. Now, first point I want to understand Java language has introduced up uh, from the version number 1.0 and uh, every year they are adding some new features to Java language and keep on they are releasing the next versions nothing but new versions every year or every two years for once they are releasing all these things. By adding all new features Java language is releasing with new version numbers. So, starts with Java 1.0 to up to latest version Java 8, several features are added. The next Java 9 is about to release, okay. So, very soon it is going to launch. Now, my question is from Java 1.0 to up to Java 8, there are so many new features are added. Why those many new features added? What is the purpose, right? That is the first point you have to learn. Not only Java, any software you take, any real world product you take, Every minute their target is what? Adding new features to make the product easily usable by customer. So, daily, 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 daily their target is what? Product developers, they are thinking how easily my product can be used by user. Then user will, uh, feel, whenever user feel comfortable using our product, then now our product sales will be increased, more users will be increased, am I right? So, Java people are also thinking the same way. First, they released Java 1.0 with basic language features and some required reusable API. Then later on they started thinking how many more API means how many predefined classes methods we can add to make Java projects development fast that is the thinking. So, then now they want to give the conclusion. The, what is the main objective behind new features are adding to the Java language? Very simple, three points we have to think here. What are the three points? Number one, the target of Java programmers is less code write and it has to perform more work. That less code should execute fast and we got fast development. Okay? The second target of Java projects is what? Fast development we require. Now, that code what we are developing must easily readable, understandable and what? Maintainable. So, that is the target of uh, Sun Microsystem in Java language. So, these are the three main points or we can say these are the three objectives of Java language or Java people providing new features to Java language. Not only Java language, any language you take every time they are adding the new features by keeping the mind. What is the point? Less code, more work. As a developer, I have to write less code. That less code should perform more work background. Okay? And fast development and what? Easy readable, understandable and maintainable. Okay? So, this is the main target of Java language new features adding. Then now the question. There are several, several versions are there. Java 1.0 to up to Java 8. Here you have to understand one point. Up to Java 1.4 version, the target of Sun Microsystem is one thing and from 1.5 onwards, the target of Sun Microsystem is different. What is that? Observe here. Up to 1.4 version, Sun Microsystem target and their focus is on preparing API means reusable classes. right? So, I want to develop a project. In my project, I want to group objects. In your project also group objects. Another project also group objects. For this grouping object, I have to write code. Other programmer should write code. Another program also should write code. So, instead of writing every programmer same code, Sun has a come up with a predefined class. That predefined class is generally called what? API. So, Sun Microsystem target is providing reusable API classes. As many, as many more they can provide, they are, they are trying to provide up to 1.4. Then after 1.4, they realized, yes, we have provided maximum required reusable APIs we have provided. Then what next? Then Sun Microsystem has started focusing on what are the areas, language level, at the language level, what are the areas? More code is writing by programmer repeatedly. 
in my project I am writing, in your project you are writing, another project also writing. For example, if you take collection programming, when you want to retrieve objects from the collection, you have to write iterator code. So, what the code we write? Iterator itr equal to collection object dot iterator method call while itr dot has a next object obj equal to itr dot next. Then following by business logic we are writing. Then carefully observe the three lines of the code. What is that? Obtaining iterator object, checking element available or not, retrieving element from the collection. These three lines are common to all programmers. I can say this is what? Syntax level code. I want to call it as syntax level code. These three lines are common to all programmers. When these three lines are common, who has to write? Sun Micro system has to write. You know, Sun Micro system in the beginning version itself, they given a promise to all programmers. You do not write everything, I will write. But API level, they are writing everything. We are just reusing for fast development. But still, there is some API level code we are repeatedly calling and we are using in our program. Every programmer writing that three lines of the code has eliminated in Java 5 version by adding new feature. And of course, if you take wrapper classes, I want to represent a value, integer value as a object, then you have to write, I have to write, everyone should write integer IO equal to new integer of 10, double DO1 equal to new double of some 10.5. So, this code, wrapping logic code is common for you and common for me, okay. For all people has to write the same code, this code who has to develop, Sun has to develop, then they have eliminated this code writing by programmer by using a concept called auto boxing, auto unboxing in Java 5 version. So, what is the point I want to highlight here? From Java 5 onwards, the target and focus of the Sun Micro system is shifted to how to reduce number of lines of the code typing by the programmer at syntax level, nothing but language level, that is the target, okay. So, what is the point I wanted to highlight? Up to 1.4 version Sun Micro system focus and target is providing reusable code, nothing but API level focus is there. Now, up to after 1.4, their focus is shifted to language level number of lines of code you are reducing. Now, I wanted to create a set of named constants in my program. For that, you have to use class. By using class, you have to create. Uh, what happened? In Java 5 version, they have given a concept called enum. Okay? If you use enum concept, 15 to 16 lines of the code we have to develop. If I use enum, now these 15 lines code auto generated by compiler software. So, there are so many wonderful features are added in Java 5 version to reduce number of the lines of the code we develop in the project. So, ultimately what I wanted to tell the target of Sun Micro system and Sun Micro system has given a promise to all programmers that is what you write less code remaining work we will take care. You do not try to write everything we will provide try to reuse ok. Write less code perform more work and fast development whenever you are writing less code development is fast and now that code must be easily readable should not in complex syntax less syntax small syntax easily understandable syntax readable understandable and maintainable. So, first point you have to understand at this minute why new features are coming and what is the focus of Sun Micro system up to 1.4 after 1.4, okay? That is the two points I have covered. The main reasons behind new features are adding in every version is what? Write less code, perform more work, fast development and of course, are readable, understandable, maintainable. Up to 1.4, Sun Micro system focus is what? Uh, API level and from Java 5 onwards, nothing but 1.5 onwards, their focus is on language level. Of course, API level also they continued. Okay, so, this is the basic idea. My understanding what Java 5 onwards, they done lot of language level changes by keeping collection programming in their mind. Collection programming as much as less they can try to bring, that much less they try to bring in from Java 5 onwards. The main focus is on collection programming. Okay. So, write number of lines of code, try to bring less number of lines of code, improve the performance as part of the generics and for each loop also. Okay. okay fine. We are trying to discuss all the points. I, I hope these two points are understood up to now. First point is what? Why new features? Second point is what? Focus up to 1.4 onward uh, from 1.5 onwards what? Okay. Till now, I hope you got clarity. 
Now I wanted to introduce what are the different features given in Java 1.0 to Java 8 version I would like to present here. Okay, We can complete all these points very quickly less time it will take just have a concentration. Look at here I prepared one small table here. Okay, Java versions are start with JDK 1.0 observe the first name is what not Java JDK. Okay, yeah, of course, Java also you can use, but officially the name is what JDK. JDK 1.0, JDK 1.1, then here onwards the name is changed to what J2SE 1.2, J2SE 1.3, J2SE 1.4. Up to here the names are J2SE. Again, from Java 1.5 onwards the name is changed to Java 5.0 and after 5, 6 onwards the point 0 is also dropped Java 6, Java 7, Java 8. So, this is the basic version numbers are you following? Now, from Java 5 onwards some little confusion is there outer version number is 5.0, but internal version number is 1.5. That means, whenever with JDK software, JDK software if you use number 1.5, 1.6, 1.7 and 1.8. I hope you are following right. So, this is the version numbers. You may ask me question, sir why J2SE came into picture? In Java 1.2 version, Java language concepts are divided into three parts you know, they are called three editions. What are the three editions? J2SE, J2EE, J2ME. So, initially Java has given only standard edition. So, uh, from the standard edition server side executing components servlets and JSPs are added, e enterprise Java beans are added, mobile application development support is added. So, for all these features are uh, giving easy maintenance purpose, they have divided Java language concepts into three editions. That is why the name started calling people what? J2SE, Java 2 standard edition. Okay. Uh, now, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, but this number 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 is not uh, uh, matching with this number 2. Okay. Here J2SE 1.2 okay matching, J2SE 1.3 not matching, J2SE 4 number not matching. So, the newcomers beginner are getting confused and they are asking what number 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 matching, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 matching. Okay. Here JDK 1.0 not matching, JDK 1.0 not matching, JDK 1.0 not matching. Okay. Here JDK 1.0 not matching, JDK 1.0 not matching. So, the newcomers beginners are getting confusion that is why Sun decided they wanted to drop that number 2 also from 5 version and make it as what? Java 5.0. Okay. And later that point G is also getting confusion that is why they dropped in 1.6 and making it as simply Java 6, Java 7, Java 8. So, this is the basic idea and version numbers. Then if you carefully observe in which year they are released I have mentioned that and you please remember just one Java 8 release date as of now because you are the latest programmer. All right. So, March 18th and 2014 in March 18th 2014 Java 8 is released. Now, maybe this year okay in next coming months we are going to get Java 9. So, remaining also if you remember it is ok otherwise you can leave it is not a big deal. Okay. Now, let me quickly launch okay. what are the different features existed in different versions. In the beginning version Java 1.0 they have given basic language concepts and some part reusable APS. Their focus is not much about features, they are, they are only concentrating on basic language concepts and as well as what some predefined APS they have given. In 1.1 version, okay, they have given very interesting two important topics they have given inner classes and JDBC and also one more given nowadays we are not using this concept Java beans concept also has given. So, inner classes JDBC Java beans, inner classes concept is very important. This inner classes concept is given for retooling, retooling AWT event handling mechanism. Okay, event handling mechanism for retooling event handling mechanism this inner classes concept is given. What is the meaning of retooling? Okay, that is little bit complex now you cannot understand just remember AWT event handling procedure to modify purpose they have given inner classes concept. Previously up to I mean in JDK 1.0 if you want to click on the button now background some logic should execute that logic you have to write in a separate class. By using inner classes concept, you can write that class and logic inside current frame class itself that is called nothing but retooling. Okay, right. Then now JDBC, one of the very, very important topics of entire Java language interacting with the database concept. So, that is support is given from JDK 1.1 onwards. Are you getting my point? So, 
two important concepts introduced in inner classes and JDBC. At language level, much changes are there. Of course, inner classes is uh, language level changes and JDBC API level changes as given, right. The next, if you come to Java 1.2 version, very important keyword they have introduced called strict FP keyword. Up to Java 1.1, we have only 47 keywords and 1.2 onwards, we got one more new keyword called 48th keyword strict FP, right. And plus, uh, very 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 interesting topic very important topic hot topic of entire java collections framework more classes has added right in a collection videos we have discussed the complete details of uh, what are the different classes added and why you have added in collections framework uh, please go through our playlist collections framework okay next now reflection api most important and uh, jit compiler is also added in this version okay the important part in 1.2 is collections framework reflection API are the important things. And in 1.3 version they have added hotspot JVM and Java sound API, JNDI API. So, the much okay JVM level much changes has happened and for connection pooling support purpose JNDI okay naming and directories interface services they have added. And in 1.4 again important changes came SRT keyword introduced for exception handling related points SRT keyword exception chaining okay for overriding method there is a compiler limitation in overriding method. If it is in super class the overriding method is throwing checked exception in a subclass we cannot throw our own exceptions we have to throw same checked exception or you have to handle to solve this compiler limitation level problem they have introduced a concept called exception chaining right and regular expressions very important and xml parsers also introduced before java 1.4 version we cannot read content from xml file we cannot generate xml files xml files are meant for you know uh, representing the data right so more readable way understandable way if you want to store data in a structured way in a text file we will use XML format. So, that XML file I want to read and generate for that I require parsers like what you know DOM parser and SAX parser. These two parsers introduction has given from 1.4 version ok. So, these are all if you observe carefully most of the part of this up to 1.0 to 1.4 what we got API level changes only has added as I told you already the main focus of the Sun Micro system up to 1.4 is what API level language level much changes are not there whatever the features given in 1.0 version language level same features are continued up to 1.4 with minimum less changes. But from 1.5 onwards so many features are changed so many new features are added ok. So, now we have to compulsory remember those features every feature you must learn and you have to use in your projects development are you following. So, we have to compulsory learn every feature. So, I would like to present all the features here, I want to list out all the features here 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. See up to 1.4 these features you remember or not remember not a issue, but 1.5 onwards every feature you have to remember. If interviewer asks the question, do you know something about generics? in which version it has given. Do you know something about for each loop in which version it has given? This type of questions if interviewer ask, if you say that ah, I do not know in which version given, it is not good ok. So, uh, being a Java developer at least latest features versions you have to remember. If anybody ask in which version JDBC has introduced to Java language, if you say uh, I no, exactly not remember accepted because it is very old version and uh, moreover it is API level much, much nothing to worry. But these features if you do not remember it is not good ok. So, let us try to remember it is not a big deal just maximum it will take 5 to 10 minutes not more than that ok. In this video, we have learned three points. Point number one, why new features are added in every version. Point number two, what is the Java designer's focus up to 1.4 and from 1.5 onwards? What are the different version numbers? Why the version number changes? And then what are the different features available or what are the different features added in the different versions we have discussed, ok. So, prepare your own notes try to remember all these points and in next video I will list out all different uh, uh, features given in Java 5 version, Java 6 version, Java 7 and Java 8 version right. Thank you for watching this video. So, in next video we will discuss next points. See you in the next session. Thank you.